you've been able to co to make it a profitable business based on the kind of clientele we have we don't have all our clients are not the million dollar clients but we have ways of patching it you know it's like putting a cup of gary and then a spoon of sugar now you know that the spoon of one tablespoon of sugar doesn't quantify that cup of gary you know but then you need that spoon that tablespoon of sugar to make the gary that you're about to sip tasty so that's how we've been doing the business and patience first we are passionate about our job because we've had reasons and situations to quit the job but the passion has kept us to hold on to what we are doing and not give up if I, if, if I may come in uh, we've been doing this for for eight years for eight years yeah so um, it's, it's, it's not I wouldn't say like it's, it's not been an easy journey yeah so uh, you know eight years experience and you know like she said we're very passionate about what we do what, what, we, what we do and I would say that for the first year and a half like the first 18 months we basically were not making any money, money from like me. zero naira from styling some jobs we do today we don't make money for the first from 18 zero. months or thereabouts we made zero naira from styling but we just had to at the time i mean people didn't believe celebrities would just go to the market and buy clothes and do their photo shoot or their video shoot whatever so they didn't know what a stylist was nobody nobody paid attention to stylists you know i, I still i still give uh, uh props to clarence peters for who understood for, what yeah yeah because he was the only one like the only one that i knew uh that paid attention to styling, styling. like he always had yeah he always had a stylist on set that's way back as far back as eight years ago there was no one else that was doing that i mean i mean i, I even to photographer levels there was I, 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 I didn't, I, I hadn't heard about anybody else that was doing that. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, you know, it's, it's basically, we're passionate about it and we had to keep going, you know. So, yeah, uh, our clientele has grown, you know, from celebrities now to brands and stuff, yeah, so. Where I was driving at to how we are able to make our profits from the job is that we have certain clients who pay good enough money for this and then we have some other clients who can't afford the bill for this uh, or who can't pay up to what we input into this so we try to match it up you know just try to balance the equation and then we recycle but we rarely recycle and if we have to recycle we recycle in a different way where it will not be noticed so everybody um, recycles yeah everybody does even yes. international acts they do but that's what that's how we try to maximize our profit and it's about create being creative you know your creativity matters because if you're not creative about your job people will get bored and then they move on to the next level so yeah